Thank you for joining me for episode 19 of my lunch break. I hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new, welcome. I've done a ton of research for this episode and have been really excited to share it for a few weeks now. Here we go. Today we are starting off in Melbourne, Australia and directing our attention not just to Newman College, but more specifically, the chapel. After some extensive research, I was finally able to find a construction date for this chapel of 1938. So they say, home to two carved gargoyles, this chapel was yet another structure around the world with no construction company. I say this because it should be easily documented. This was not 500 years ago. This was supposedly 1938 only 85 years ago, no construction company. They do give us an architect. They tell us who funded the construction right here. The building of the chapel was made possible by the generosity of Mr. Patrick Brennan of Yarram, Victoria. Although substantial donations had already been made by Victorian Catholics to the Archbishop Carr Memorial Chapel Fund. They give us details where the material supposedly came from. So why leave out who actually built it? They couldn't just go one step further and tell us? I asked this question because this is not the first time they leave out the construction company in these stories. It's the nail in the coffin for me. It's one of the main clear giveaways that the building was from the old world. If they're unable to identify who exactly built this incredible structure that is only 85 years old, then I'm taking that as they don't know. And at that point, the rest of their story is untrustworthy. There's no other way to go about it. If this was built today, we would know exactly who built the building. 50 years ago, same thing. 85 years? We should definitely know who constructed this chapel, no doubt. So let's take a step back for a second. Obviously, nobody is 100% sure of anything, but at this point, we can definitely see a huge pattern of there being some sort of beginning to our timeline in the 1800s. It's getting very obvious. So where are we? What happened? Where did the previous civilization go? And why are they being hidden from us? If there was a previous civilization, then where are the skeletons? Should we begin to look at the catacombs in France? Hundreds of miles of skeletons? I don't think we need to go into that because it's obvious we're right. Was this a naturally caused cataclysm or done on purpose? Did these people do something they shouldn't have? It's obvious that we're not where we're told we are and our history is not true. How many times have they used the Columbus story? Is this the 10th time the narrator has tried to trick us with the world civilization? Do they already know what kind of music we like because they've used these songs before? Same movies, same shows. These, in my opinion, are reused. Not all of them, but the big ones. Who knows how long ago Beethoven played the piano or if he was even real. Anyone ever notice they use the same plot for these TV shows? Airplane crashes into island. People are lost and they twist it a little. It's like they're using the same script, even in our entertainment. These are the fundamental questions that should be held on to while we investigate further. Speaking of investigating further, let's continue. New York City, the Alwyn Court. These are now apartment buildings, but we know they are much deeper than that. Let's take a look together. This was built in two short years, from 1907 to 1909. Already sounding odd, but uh, let's continue. The architect's name was Hard and Short. The building is 13 stories tall. Okay, so far so good, for the most part. At least no fires or anything that would give it away fully that it was an old world building. Oh, oh no, wait. Oh yeah, here it is. Despite a fire shortly after its opening, the Alwyn Court quickly became one of New York City's most expensive apartment buildings. And there we have it, another story of a fire. They say that this building was finally built by somebody. We finally have a building that has a builder. The Hidden, I mean, Hedden Construction Company. Should we investigate the Hidden Construction Company and see exactly how they learned these incredible skills? Hey, why not? Let's take a look. It started as a partnership between Mr. Viner Jones Hedden and Mr. J.J. Meeker. It was in this firm that after his formal schooling, Louis O. Hedden, Second son of V.J. Hedden learned the carpenter trade as his father had done. Okay, so, so far nobody has taught these individuals the skill of building French Renaissance style construction. 
Some schooling and boom! You and your jack of all trades dad got the skills to handcraft French Renaissance buildings. And let's continue, of course. Okay, then Mr. Meeker dies in 1884 and they make a new company. Still the same people, of course. Same skills. And what do you know? Now, out of nowhere, they are building the world's tallest building. The Metropolitan Life Insurance Company Tower in New York City. Who's believing this? This is total nonsense. Hey, Pops, let's fix the fridge. Okay, now I'll be back. Just off to school in 1885, I'll be back with some knowledge to build the tallest building in the world. In French Renaissance-style buildings. What kind of insane story is this? Should we give it even 1% chance of being true? Where is the part where they say he worked with the world's most incredible sculptor to learn how to make the most unbelievable architectural designs come to life? Where is that part? Not even remotely close to being in the story. The Hidden Construction Company did not build this building. Nice try though, very nice try. I do appreciate that at least they tried to give us a builder this time. Now, I'd like to take you all to an island. I actually wish I could, that would be fun. But let's go look at this island on Google and wish we could all be there and looking at this building when it was actually being built and be able to see how it was built. Here we are at the Palma Cathedral located in Palma, Spain, built in 2022. Could you imagine? The builder would be the most sought after builder in the world, by far. It wouldn't even be close. Okay, so construction actually started in the 1229. It wasn't finished up until nearly four centuries later. You know, companies have a tough time sticking around for 400 years nowadays. If someone wasn't getting the job done for 400 years, do you think they'd be fired, run out of funds? Maybe, um, I don't know, die? Who seriously believes this took 400 years to build? I've said this in the past and I'll say it again because it is directly to the point. They did not take 400 years to build this. The builders knew what they were doing. They built it to perfection. They got the job done in their lifetime and it was not 900 years ago. This was built by the previous civilization and they were master builders. Now knowing all of this, we are now going to get into the narrative and investigate. Who is the architect? Nobody? Which company built this? Unknown? Of course. But if you're not looking into this type of stuff, you're never going to ask that question. And since they lie, in my opinion, and say it was built 900 years ago, then it's too long ago to ask anyone today. Who would you ask? Nobody was alive 900 years ago. So they get away with it. They get away with the narrative that we don't know who built it or designed it. And they know that. Now, we haven't talked about the most insane part about this story. This was constructed 900 years ago on an island. Who was shipping the materials to this island in the Mediterranean Sea for 400 years? It's about 130 miles away from Barcelona. This is not a quick trip in the year 1229. So they have master builders and master shipping companies that work for four centuries. This is a great story. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot more on the way. We're just getting started, and I hope you all have a great day. I'm very thankful for you all. If you have anything you want me to cover in the future, just put it in the comments below, and I'll check it out. I love reading all the comments. We also have a Twitter account now up and running, and I'll put that in the link in the description. Also, we're on Rumble. That will be in the description, too, just so you guys never lose track of where we are. Again, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll be back very soon. See ya. Don't trust what you see. Don't listen to your senses. Trust what you are told.